Hey guys, my name is Brian Fleming from BuildingSocialProof.com. Got some really cool stuff for you today about Twitter ads, some stuff I've been doing with Twitter ads, just playing around. I'm going to tell you more about it, but some really surprising results I got with Twitter ads that I just wasn't expecting. Now, if you're getting started with social media and maybe even Twitter for that respect, you've heard of people getting good results with things like Facebook and Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, all that stuff and you just feel overwhelmed, you don't know where to get started, head on over to buildingsocialproof.com. I'll help you put together a very easy to implement social media marketing strategy that you can do in about 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes in a day. And it works so well because it uses a lot of software automation tools to make our jobs easier. We don't want to be doing social media and spending hours a day on it, guys. We want to get in and get out quick. And that's what I'll show you how to do if you head over to buildingsocialproof.com. You could get my system, which I show you how to get started with seven days from now, guys, you'll have a social media marketing strategy that works great for your business. So how did this whole Twitter experiment come about? Well, I, as you guys know, do a lot with Facebook ads and I was looking at my recent Facebook ad campaigns and I was noticing that the cost for my ads to reach a thousand people was getting pretty expensive. It was like um, twenty, thirty dollars to reach one thousand people. So hold that thought. Facebook, at least the way I'm running the ads, is costing me twenty to thirty dollars to reach a thousand people. Now, I don't really care that much about it because at the end of the day, if I'm able to get an email for a dollar or less than a dollar, I'm happy with that. I don't care what it costs for me to reach a thousand people. But another thing happened too. I was watching somebody else's Periscope video, and they were talking about. Twitter analytics, and I had no idea Twitter even had analytics on your tweets. So as she's talking, I sign into my Twitter account, and I couldn't believe that my tweets got shown to 25,000 people last month. I was like, wow, I didn't even know Twitter had this thing, and I've been sending out tweets, and they went out to 25,000 people. So 25,000 people for free, but what is that traffic really worth? So I wanted to, I don't know if you guys seen on Twitter, they got this thing, promote your tweet. And what I thought is, I'm going to take a tweet and just promote it. Really, I wanted to see two things. I wanted to see how many thousands of people Twitter would send that to, or how many people they'd send it to. Would it be more like Facebook, where my 10 bucks would go to three or 400 people, or would it go to more people? I wanted to figure out, what's Twitter's ad rate to reach 1,000 people? Is it cheaper than Facebook? And then once I know Twitter's ad rate, What's my free traffic worth? Because if I'm getting 25,000 free views from Twitter, is that worth $1,000 or $10 or 50? I have no idea. So I go into Twitter and I go to boost a tweet. If you guys go to the Building Social Proof Twitter profile, you'll see it's the one pinned to the top of my Twitter profile. So I go to boost that tweet and Twitter says I'll get six clicks from it. Now, six clicks with my landing page, would probably mean about two emails. And I'm gonna do a $10 promoted tweet, guys. So 10 bucks, Twitter says I'm gonna get six clicks. I'm expecting to get two emails, uh, opt-ins for that, which is not good. That's $5 an email, right? That actually kind of sucks. So I'm doing this because I wanna see how many people Twitter's gonna show my tweet to to try to get a feel for what's their cost per thousand on their ad platform. So I promoted my tweet. And it was interesting because unlike Facebook, Twitter shows you in real time what's happening with your tweet. And it was, it was addicting. It was like playing with a slot machine because guys, I thought my tweet would go out to three or 400 people. That, that's what I thought would happen. And I thought it'd get six clicks like Twitter told me, but that's not what happened at all. Within like 10 minutes, it went to a thousand people and got like 20 clicks. And I'm like, well, this isn't what Twitter told me would happen. And it kept going to more and more people. Fast forward, this promoted tweet campaign ran most of the day, yeah, ran most of the day um, uh, on Saturday, and it ended up generating me 100 clicks and 20 opt-ins. So for 10 bucks, I got 100 clicks. It was shown to nearly 10,000 people, and I got 20 opt-in emails for that. So if I can get an email for 50 cents a piece, you better believe I'm going to run hard with that. Wasn't expecting those results at all. Yeah, it is pretty fantastic, Lori. Uh, I thought I'd get six clicks, five bucks an email, and maybe go to 500 people. Wasn't at all what I expected. Here's the other part, too. I got a dozen more followers from it. Uh, it got retweeted about a dozen times. I'm just pre pretty much blown away with what they were doing. Now, the Twitter ad platform, I started looking at it a bit. It's a lot like Facebook. You can do targeting. You can do a ton of stuff. 
Guys, I was just playing around with it, boosting a tweet to see what the hell happened. As I looked into it a little further, I don't even know how the boost a tweet works, but it looks like it just kind of took a sample of my followers and just uh, blasted it out. Do you want me to check out your, do you want me to check out tweet ads myself? Well, Andrea, that's kind of my point is to, is to consider them because, um, Twitter is a lot more powerful than I've been talking about lately. You know, I've got about 10,000 followers on Twitter, guys, and I've been looking at my tweets a lot closer. A typical tweet, if I retweet you guys on Periscope or anything like that, is getting seen by 100 to 400 people, somewhere in there. Um, I did a test tweet. It's almost up to 500 people. That, that's a lot of people to get to for free when you compare it to Facebook, who doesn't give you nearly that kind of reach. So to take a tweet that's doing pretty well and boost it, provided you have a goal, right? If I just took a tweet that was going to my blog post and boosted it, I'd have picked up some followers. I'd have got 100 clicks to my blog, but it wouldn't have done anything. I'd have just got clicks to my blog. I wanted to get email subscribers. I'm seeing email subscribers for 50 cents a crack. That is a huge win in my book. Uh, retweet, do you send right after you've completed the scope? Uh, I haven't tried. I could do uh, this one. I could take this Periscope and promote it as a tweet. But again, Marnie, if I did that, okay, so 100 more people would watch my scope for 10 bucks. What's that really going to do for me? So you have to have a measurable goal. My measurable goal is to collect emails. And if I can get emails for 50 cents a piece, guys, I'll take that deal all friggin' day long. Awesome stuff. So... I'll be doing more with Twitter ads. I will fill you guys in more with the results I get down the road. Uh, my main focus, though, is Facebook ads. Um, I did just kind of jump into Twitter just to see what the heck it was, and I've been pretty impressed. Maybe it's because nobody's running Twitter ads, and they're just desperate to um, get our business. Another cool thing about Twitter ads is it doesn't look like they check your ads for anything. It doesn't look like they put them through any ad checking or approval process. So if you've had problems with Facebook with your ads getting declined for whatever reason, Check out Twitter. They don't check. They'll just push it because they want your business. Good stuff, guys. So if you want more social media marketing tips like this, head on over to buildingsocialproof.com, guys, where you can get my social media marketing strategy now. Tomorrow, I got another cool video, and I can't wait to share it with you, but I'll have more for you guys then. Take care.